Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenna. If you are new, please like and subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one ingredient slime at home. So all that you'll need is a bowl of hot water and some gum. I have this gum. This gum works best. And see, I haven't used any yet. So you're just going to pop it in. One at a time. pieces and make sure it's like hot enough that you're kind of able to touch but not really and then you're just going to want to smush them until it reaches a slime point if it's too hot then like quickly pick some up and play with it for a few minutes so I already started to play with this one it's turning well I'm just going to drop it back in Oh, I picked up one. Okay, put that one back in there. Ah, it's really hot. Ooh, it's actually kind of weird. In the future, I feel like I'm gonna get like a bunch of bubble gum, like a bunch of hubba bubba, and then make it, and then um, it'll be like super thick. And it would be buttery, I think. Okay, I'm going to pick the rest up if I can. Okay, I got one there. Ow. Two here. Two here. One here. That is all. And then I think I'm going to be dying it purple. I'm just going to... So this is what it looks like. It looks really disgusting. It's kind of black because I was painting and I got some black on me. Just gonna eat it. Next, accordingly. Well, nine twelve at night. I can't turn that light on because um, we're trying to save a little bit of power, but not too too much. So here it is. I actually like the texture. It's really nice. Night. Night. That was my grandma. She says good night to me. I think she has to work tonight. You guys should try this. So make sure it's this gun. Oops. Sorry, guys. Make sure it's that one because this texture feels super nice and stuff so yeah you'll need some hot water but warm just to at least give it a bit of a melt all right so i'm gonna go get the purple paint you may be wondering why i'm not gonna be using food dye the reason i don't want to use food dye is because if i like at least I'll know not to eat this because it has a quick paint in it. I'm so scared. It might turn horrible. Okay, I got the purple in. Ooh, it's turning nice. So I'm not going to let you see until the end. And then you guys write it down below what you think. I like it. I like the texture. The color is kind of turning bad. So I'm like, that's not purple. Sorry if I'm talking really soft. Okay, I'm going to add some more purple. Whoops. There, I add like a bunch of purple. So I don't think I should need any more. Oh my god, it's sticking everywhere. Ah, no! The paint! But I like the acrylic paints because they're kind of washable for me. Like, they wash off my skin and my counters and stuff like that. 
It's pretty half decent. So I'm just gonna do it down here. Okay, so here it is. This is the final result. I like it because it is like nice and chunky. Just put a really big chunk in there. It feels nice and chunky. It looks like it would be maybe a prank poo, like a diarrhea poo maybe. Like you could use this for a prank. Like this feels super nice though. Like if I were, I couldn't use this on a prank. It just feels super good. So it's nice and stretchy. I like it, I like it a lot. Stretch. Wait, let me see if it can. I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. Wait, for the final test, is it clicky? It's actually clicky, guys. Oh my god. Let me bring it closer. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but, but yeah, it's actually super clicky. Oh, where's my microphone? Where'd it go? I don't know what a microphone is, but it's actually really clicky. So I was going, oh. And then if it hardens, just put it back in the water for a few minutes. And pull it out. And, like, it won't be stretchy, but then you'll have to knead it again and again. Until it turns to a great consistency. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you like it, subscribe. And I hope you try this. This is really awesome. Oh my god, that just made the camera like super cool.